<laughs> I'm not a real rocket scientist with these, but I know enough just to get me around. Um, now this one here is an old machine. Uh, she's from about 1997, I think. I bought this as a teenager, and I've, I've used the same one ever since. You can actually buy ones for five bucks now. I'm not joking, and that's in Australia, where things are dearer than they are in the U.S. often. Um, but we'll build her on. Okay. So here I've got um, volts. Now the newer ones are auto ranging. You won't have, you know, like this has got volts. It's got 600, 222, and 200 m, which is like millivolts. Um, now what this is is. Uh, you got to try and pick the one that is below what it is. So say we're testing a 6 volt battery, which we will. I'll put it at 20 volts, and we've got an AC and a DC, and I've switched to DC. Um, now a lot of these, you won't have all the numbers. You'll just have volts, um, you know, amps, resistance. Um, oh yeah, that's my capacitor one, I think, uh, which was only new at the time, the uh, capacitor testing. Um, so I'll whack it on. There we go. 6.17 volts. Now you see there's a dash up there on the side. Well I've got a uh, electrode that's uh, one's red and one's black. And of course the black one is negative and the red one's positive. So that's telling me that I've put it on the wrong way. So I've put the black one um, on the red electrode on the battery and the red one on the black electrode on the battery, so I've mixed up my positive and negative. So it puts a little dash there for me. And if I swap them around, okay, same thing again, 6.17, but no dash. And that's a way that you can test what they call polarity, which is making sure that your positive and negative are the right way around, which is damn imperative when you're setting up a solar system. Now, I can also whack that down and test something that I know is less. And there we go, 1.6 volts coming out of a so-called 1.5 volt AA or UM3 battery. And that's a new battery um, that come with a little torch I got. Um, and so yeah, so you, you might think, well what do we do if we don't really know what the volts is? What you do is you set it to the highest you got, which can be a thousand volts and in this one it's 600 volts. Um, and you might, if you're really unsure, you might set it to AC. Um, and then try and ascertain, you know, if it's if it's AC or DC, and you, you do work out it's DC, then you can you know switch to DC and, and get a good solid reading. Um, but uh, yeah, occasionally that just blinks that dash when I'm not even got anything connected. Um, the other one is resistance, which you can test resistors with. But what I really want to point out is the lowest resistance setting is a continuity test. Now what this means is you can check if your wires are broken. If you've got an extension lead or whatever, there's some blooming lead, um, and you want to test that the wires go non-stop um, and carry the voltage and there's no broken wires. These prongs have a bit of muck on them or something, they're just getting old and corroded. But um, as you touch it, and it's trying to show the resistance setting uh, because it is actually a resistance mode um, that it's in to do a continuity test. Uh, and you've got other ones, transistor testing, diode testing, you've got amps, which I'm not certain, and don't try this until you've had it verified, but I think you can stick those on the back of a solar panel um, on their leads and you essentially shorten the amps out into this and then it'll tell you how many amps you've got um, coming through from the solar panel with that amount of light. Um, the other thing, if you have real issues with solar panels playing up, I had one that must have sort of somehow gone into into sort of series or some blooming thing, something went wrong, and it was showing double voltage. And the only way I found out was with this machine. Um, so they, these are invaluable to have, especially you know even if you just use it for polarity testing and uh, you know checking your positive and negative are right and um, continuity testing um, the, the invaluable to have and a five bucks like bloody hell you know you'd be stupid not to get one